Professor Liu is going to teach you to do the tic-tac-toe project part one. Part one, we only want to print the board. So first, let's take a look at tic-tac-toe board. That's a tic-tac-toe board. Uh, the way we do it first, we're going to draw a three by three grid board with the border line. After we draw the uh, border line, we're going to fill with a uh, dash in between. So we're going to start with our programming step right now. Okay, let me start with my Eclipse, Eclipse file new, and I'm going to do a Java project. I'm going to call that T T O I. Okay, uh, I'm going to call that part one. Okay. All right, so with this, first I create a class, new uh, class. Uh, let's call it TTT. It's a uh, a class and abstract so don't need to have a, a main program yet all right so I start with this right now and uh, first let me start with this uh, we need to have a board uh, two-dimensional uh, uh, three by three all right so let's start to do it right now so right here I will say my uh, I need a private variable right so that's my class variable. We always declare as private. And it's a character array. It's two dimensional array. Let's just call it board. It's okay. All right. Now, as soon as I finish right now, I am going to create my constructor. Uh, my constructor, uh, same name with my class. Okay. So that's my constructor. Now I'm going to initialize this uh, board. So I say my board equal new uh, character array. But now it's three by three right now. So need, right now need to give the a, a specific size right now. <laughs> All right. So now uh, I'm done this part. I have this right now. But now I'm going to uh, make the board uh, to fill out with a uh, uh, with a dash, okay. So uh, I can write it inside here, but it's kind of a little bit uh, uh, kind of a little bit too much uh, uh, code inside. So I'm going to write a uh, uh, outside uh, uh, method and put inside. So I'm going to say public. Avoid initialization. It's okay. And when I do initialization, all I do is two for loop. Okay. So uh, I'm going to write two for loop. For integer i equal zero, i less than three, i plus plus. Okay. That's my row. Then I take care the column right now for integer j equal zero j uh, less than three and j plus plus all right so then here I'm just going to put my board with a dash so my board I j then with a dash, okay? All right, so right now, uh, I'm going to just initialize. As soon as I declare the board, I'm initializing. I, I cannot see it right now until I print it, right? So before I print it, let's study this one more time. All right, so I have the board right now has a dash. So 
I imagine I don't have these uh uh these uh grid line. I have dash dash dash, but I want to print with the grid line. So I need to be smart right now. So I have the I have the dash, I have the dash, uh in each cell. Now I obviously need the first border line, uh border line, and I will then this is a blank dash blank. All right, uh, this is a line vertical line, uh blank, that that's dash and blank. So let's study this right now. When I study these, I actually need each row have one of these. Then, uh, because there are four dash line, one, two, three, four. So let's print this line first. Then make the rest of them into the uh loop. First row, I print uh one vertical line and a blank. Then I will move to next line and. Print this, print this dash line. In each column, I am going to do this. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to uh print the dash itself. Okay, uh, after the dash, and I'm going to print uh the blank line. So, so I'm going to print the blank line. Okay, so that's the blank blank space and dash. So let's do it right now. So I'm going to say public void. Uh, that's printable. All right. So I need uh two um four loops. So I'm borrow from here and. Uh, so before, as I told you first, before the first loop, I I need the I need the dash line. So so I need a dash line here. I need uh thirteen line. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. Okay, thirteen is enough. All right. So inside the for loop, as I explained to you. Why? Right. First, as soon as I get into a for loop right here, and I am going to print the first vertical line. All right, but I don't need that. I only because I don't want to move to the next line automatically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh then first that's a border line. Then I'm going to give a space, okay? So that as soon as that's the first uh, border line, then I move down here right now. My each column, my each column, what I'm going to print. So let me do this, okay? So. I am going to each column first. I'm going to print a dash line. After I print a dash line, then I'm going to plus blank vertical line blank. Okay, then I'm going to close it. After I finish this, after I finish this, then I am going to move my cursor to next line. Right, and then as soon as I move my cursor to next next line, I'm going to print this dash line. All right, so now that's uh I am going to create my main program right here. So I say right click it new class. This time I'm going to call game, and I'm going to use this. So I have to have main program right here. Then I'm going to uh make my program to this size, so you can see how I uh program both. 
okay so first I'm going to do this right now first I'm going to say hmm uh, I create my uh, program is called TTT so I'm going to use my TTT right now so you say TTT okay let's call it game equal new uh, TTT that's my constructor I call my constructor already soon as I call my constructor I can use my function called print board I don't need to call initialization because my initialization already in TTT and I'm going to say game the uh, print board okay where's my print board all right my game all right let me just see okay it's a uh, game the print the uh, uh, right here right here all right print board okay it's slow motion okay so I'm done right now and I run it and I supposed to have my, my board show up so let's do run all right so that's my board right here that's my board right here all right so take a look the code right here the code and uh this is the uh, uh the main program all right so before i finish this uh i also need to have the uh my um current position so I'm going to say private uh, it's not a fact this program right now but it will be next pro ne part two so I'm going to have that and right here so before I start it I'm going to say my uh, hold on then I initialize my board right here I'm going to say my current player mark and that is my uh, complete my part one of this program I hope you like this video